If you've never done an art pop-up before, I recommend it. You can learn so much about what work people respond to and make friends and plus, you know, sell art. So there are a few essential items for a successful art pop-up shop and here they are. For a first event, I would do a very basic setup in order to focus on the whole self-education part of it. Here I'm setting up the most important thing, a table that can get tall. If you want people to be able to comfortably browse, that means you either want a table with flexible legs like this one, extending legs, or if you already have a regular folding table, then you can use bed risers to make the table taller. Yeah. Next valuable item, a floor mat for standing on. If you want to actually make sales at this thing, you've got to interact with people. And to do that, you need to be on the same level as them. So if you absolutely must sit, then it's best to use a very tall stool. But think of this, every new person arriving is like arriving at your party. Wouldn't you want to stand up to greet them? The best way to sell art is to connect with people. Dancing is optional. I'm just trying to demonstrate how incredibly comfortable my feet are. And also I'm kind of a goofball. It's fine. Next, you need a tablecloth. I like gray. It doesn't show dirt as much as white and less lint specks than black. This cloth is inexpensive, but it looks kind of like linen. I liked it so much that I have about eight of these. Some people like fitted tablecloths. Having a banner is great with your name on it. It's super helpful, and I like including one of my paintings as a background to give people a sense of what to expect with the art, but make sure you get the size right. I'm using clips to attach the banner to the front of the table on the cloth. If you get a banner with grommets, that makes it easier to also hang it from the frame of a tent if you're doing an art fair, and it makes it easier to tie the bottom parts to the legs of the table. Definitely remember a sign-up sheet for your newsletter with a pen, and then next to that, possibly a basket for giveaway stuff. And for this pop-up, I sold prints. And there are some QR codes for people to follow me on social media. Shopping bags, which I put underneath the table on top of a bin. And I brought books that I wrote. I'll tell you about that book sometime. Then I have greeting cards with my art printed on it. Love this carousel. And small trays are nice to have on hand. If you want to sell stickers or small doodads, just Make sure you put them in front of the taller things so you have nice levels going on. Of course, business cards are essential so people don't leave your table empty-handed. And a square reader so that people can pay with card. And you'll want to have a sign with PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, whatever you can offer, including a small cash box. Okay, so now we look at what we have here. How does this look to you and how would you set it up differently? I'll tell you what I think. There are not enough levels here. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. Here is a box. Nice to lift things up. It's actually a little tall for such a small table in my opinion, but I'll make it work because it's what I've got. Here I try to put an open version of my book to maybe have people sort of be able to look right inside of it and then I think and I don't know, it's too separated from the book. So then I'm thinking, what if I put a painting, an original painting up there to say, hey, look, here's a painting. But look at that, it is so top heavy. I would be worried the whole time it'd fall over. So now, while I reflect on that, I also think I don't like how you can't see the prints inside this basket. So I'm gonna take it out and put them into a clear, or into a wire basket so you can see right through it and showcase what's actually inside of it. So now, yeah, let's get that out of there. How about we just put a nice print up there? That's less dangerous looking. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna switch the books with the cards so that the cards are now all together. That's better, see? But there's also that empty spot there on the box. I don't love that. But the books are next to the business cards that match them, next to the newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that blank spot on 
the white box area. Use this upside down pot to lift it up a little bit. And then there we go, that's better. Do I need another card here? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> that's going away. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm back to messing around with the books. Gotta make it, take them out of the book jail. <laughs> they shouldn't be in that box. They should be really easy to pick up. So I'll just have one vertical and then just a small stack of them so people can just pick them up. These cards aren't really consistent with the other cards, so I'm putting something that is actually from the same kind of style of painting. See, same thing as on the banner. Okay, miscellaneous. Water bottle, trash can, and a ready for everything kit. We're talking. We're talking. <laughs> Gaffer tape, scissors. We've got, yes, extra readers, of course, and extra business cards, a notebook for writing down notes. There's the snack, and a Sharpie and a pen and a lip gloss and a first aid kit because I am a mom and I used to be a teacher. There we go. Oh yes, and I put my square reader in that box as well. So look at this. I am putting everything away and closing down this little pop-up takes 10 minutes and probably about five easy trips to the car if I don't have a wagon. Not too bad. So there are your essential items for a pop-up. And I forgot the most important thing, and that is you. So I recommend that you actually dress in a similar palette as your art so that you look like you belong with it. As you can see, I have a second table for this because I was painting on some shoes for this pop-up, but that is for another video on another day. Thank you so much for watching. And check out the description below for a list of all of your pop-up items. Bye!